get up. <laughs> That's called T-bowing. And it's one more reason to hate Tim Tebow. Before and after every game, he takes a knee and reflects with God. But if Tebow was really a good Christian, he'd honor the Sabbath and keep it holy by not working every Sunday. <laughs> I get that Tebow's a leader on the field, but you know who'd be even better in the huddle? A professional quarterback. <laughs> He's not a passer who's a threat to run. He's a tight end who lines up in the Wildcat. He seemed good in college because he was shot putting six-yard dump screens to a safety valve. Oh, he won the Heisman. Great. So did Charlie Ward, and he sat on the Knicks bench for eight years. He's the only athlete who brags about being a virgin. At least Tony Romo bangs dudes. <laughs> Knock it off with the Bible verses and abstinence talk. I have it on good authority that your V-card got swiped plenty down in Gainesville. Denver is better off without him, but try telling that to a stadium full of chanting hill people. <laughs> Everyone is T-bowing these days, but I don't think they understand what it really means. When you drop down and pray like him, it should be after you've done something awful, because that's what Tim Tebow represents. <laughs> Being awful. Nice throw, Tebow. <laughs> and that's why Jews aren't allowed to fly Qantas. Tebow's after taking a dump. I'm not. Tebowing's gay. Right, that officially puts an end to Tebowing for good.